Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson. Today's learning goal is I can determine if relations are functions. Uh, so relations are th anything that relates uh, an x and a y. Okay? Uh, so for example, we've seen linear relations. So y equals uh, 3x plus 1 is a linear uh, relation. Uh, and another type of relation would be from a chart, for example. Okay? Uh, so x and y. Uh, 3, 4, 4, 5, this is uh, you plus 1, that's a relationship. You plus 1 from x to y. And another way you can do relationships is through a graph. And we've seen graphs before, uh, relations. Uh, this is a linear relation right here. Okay, uh, This line right here would be considered a linear relation. Uh, so we've done a lot with relations before, um, but there are many different types of relations. Uh, and specifically, there are relations that are called functions. We're going to talk about what that means. So, uh, a vending machine in the cafeteria contains the items shown. If Carson puts in B3, what item will he receive? Well, B is over here, 3 is over here, so if we go where the cross-section is, here we get a Twix. If Blaine puts in A2, uh, what item will you receive? So A is right here, 2 is right here, so that would be a trail mix. And uh, if five people in a row put B4, what should they receive? Uh, well, it doesn't really matter how many people put in B4. As long as B4 is listed as Reese's, they will get Reese's. A function is a relation or rule that assigns each input exactly one output. That is... Uh, each x value is paired with exactly one y value. Okay, so remember that inputs are x. Okay, because that's the independent variable, the one that we control. Okay, we input things, and then the machine gives us an output. And we often call it a machine or a relation. Uh, it gives us one output, so that's one y. Okay, one y. A graph that is a function will pass the vertical line test, where any vertical line drawn on the graph will pass only. Uh, through only one point. Uh, I'm going to change this a little bit uh, and say uh, we'll a, any vertical line drawn on the graph will pass through at most at most one point. Okay, So at most one point. It can pass through zero points uh, but it cannot pass through more than one point. Here it says would a vending machine like the one shown above be an example or a non-example of a function. So every input we have is A1, so A1 will always give us one output, M&Ms. A2 always gives us one output, trail mix. A3 uh, gives us one output, chips. A4 gives us one output, only pretzels. Uh, the only way that this would not be a function is if A1 had both M&Ms and Snickers in there, so it could have give you M&Ms or Snickers. Okay? Or if A2 had uh, trail mix or Skittles, okay? As long as our input results in one thing that we can rely on, that is called a function. So, uh, each input, each button, responds exactly with one output, one food item. Okay, so yes, this is a function. If the vending machine removed all Skittles, so it got rid of this B1, and had M&Ms in both A1 and B1, would it still be a function? Uh, yes, that would be a function. Even though M&Ms are both going to come out from A1 and A B1, uh, we can still rely on B1 and A1 to just give us M&Ms. It doesn't give us M&Ms sometimes, Twix another time, or M&Ms one time and chips sometimes. So, uh, yes, the inputs of A1 and B1 would still have exactly one output. So it says, for each problem below, circle the letter of the representation that is a function. Then write a sentence to explain why the other representation is not a function. So remember that x is our input. So for every input, there has to be one output. Okay? So right here, uh, 2 gives us 5, 4 gives us 5, 6 gives us 5, 8 gives us 5, 10 gives us 5. So this is going to be our function. The reason that a is not a function is because they have negative 9 giving us 1 and negative 9 giving us 13. So x, when x is negative 9, we don't know exactly what it's going to give us. It could give us 1 or it could give us 13. So uh, a is not a function because the input of negative 9 has more than one output. It has uh, 
uh, 1 and 3 as outputs. For, uh, here, uh, we're going to use, when we have graph relations, we're going to use the vertical line test. Remember, again, the vertical line test says that any vertical line that we draw on that graph, if it goes to at most one point uh, on that graph, then that is considered a function. In A, no matter where I draw a vertical line, okay, a vertical line, vertical line, vertical line, uh, it only hits the function at most one time. Okay, it hits the it, here, 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 and here. But notice how, and if I were to draw a line through those dots that goes up and down, it wouldn't hit any other dots. Okay, uh, so therefore A is going to be our uh, function. So let me clear that out. A is our function. Okay. B is not a function because if I were to draw a line where x equals 2, so that would be right here, then it goes through two dots. Okay? That means that the input of 2 gives us two outputs, negative 1 and 2. So graph B is not a function because it doesn't pass the vertical line test. The input of 2 has more than one output. Now notice how the vertical line test, it doesn't matter if uh, the line goes through no dots. Okay, or no points inside the relation. Okay. That is perfectly fine. As long as if there is an input, uh, the output is at most one thing. We can also see this if we were to put all these points in a chart. So if we did that, it would look like this. This one would be A and this one would be B. Okay. Uh, so the top one, uh, we can see that negative 3 only gives us negative 2. And there's no other negative 3's for X. Uh, negative 2 gives us 1, and so forth and so on, as opposed to right here in the B one, uh, 2 gives us 2, and 2 also gives us negative 1. Okay? That's why the vertical line test works, because uh, the vertical line test shows us that for any x value, uh, it should only give us one uh, output, as opposed to in this one, it gives us two outputs, because it goes through two points in the relation. Here, we're asked to figure out which one of these two is a function. Uh, here, if we can solve for y, and we would get y equals negative x plus 12, because we would subtract x from both sides. Okay. Uh, and we can see that if for any number that we put in here, uh, for x, we would only get at one y value. Okay. As opposed to here, if we were to solve for y, okay, uh, which is what we would do, and what we would get is y equals plus or minus square root of x plus 3. Okay. Remember that uh, square roots can be the a positive and negative. Okay. So here uh, we would get that for any value of x we would get uh, plus the positive and the negative of that. Okay. So, in other words, uh, equation B is not a function because y equals plus or minus the square root of x plus 3. If x equals negative 1, for example, then y would equal 2 and negative 2. Okay, so if we plug in 1 right here, uh, we would get positive 2 and a negative 2. So the input of 1 would get us two different outputs. Here we have uh, four different points, 10, 7, 4, 3, 12, negative 7, and 3, 4. And these are points in a relation, and these are all the points inside a relation. And we are asked to determine if this is a function. And we have x's of 10, 4, 12, and 3. And since uh, 10 only has 7, 4 only has 3, 12 has, only has negative 7, 3 only has 4, uh, therefore this is going to be a relation, because each input has exactly one output. Go ahead and determine if number 5 represents a function or not. Justify your answer. Well, you should have found that it is not a function because the input of negative 2 gives us two different outputs, both 6 and negative 0 0.9. Go ahead and determine if this graphed relation is a function. Justify your answer. What you should have found is that it is not a function because it fails the vertical line test. So if I were to draw a line right here through, let's say this is x equals negative 1, uh, that output 
would be three different things. So the x equals negative one would have three different outputs. Okay, I don't know if this is x equals negative one, but I'm gonna just guess x equals negative one. Uh, since that single input has three different outputs, it is not a function. Determine if number seven is a function and justify your answer. You should have found that it is a function. Okay, uh, because it passes the vertical line test. Anywhere I draw a vertical line, it will only pass through that relationship right here, this relationship right here, uh, once, and only once, and no more than once, I guess that's the better way of putting it. Uh, go ahead and determine if number eight is a function. This is a function, okay, uh, because each input as exactly one output. It does not matter that the outputs are all the same. It does not matter about that. As long as every single x is only used once and uh, the x's don't have repeats with different outputs. So here is a, a picture of 6 and 12 being x's and uh, their outputs. So this says that 6 has the output of 15, and 6 has an output of 9, 12 has an output of 27, and 12 has an output of 21. That's the relation. Uh, since 6 and 12 both have multiple outputs, uh, this is not going to be a relationship, or excuse me, not going to be a function.